when you have it. Not forcing the three, like right now, is a good shot. Now Nash. Down low, Merkovic. Again, gotten better, but those are the kinds of shots you got to hit. Now he redeems himself with a nice pass to Merkovic. They want to come in to Wells Ryan and win this game. Nice move by Thompson, <laughs> high off glass. That's where I think the most improvement this game can come at is on the defensive end. Crawford. There's Thompson down. Crawford. Nash in the corner. And Nash hits. James Douglas shooting just 25% from three, but he's hit two early once there. That's John Sherna. That's when you can make your passings and aggressive moves to the basket. Here's Crawford. <laughs> well, this is like a, a bad flashback going on right now for Michigan because they saw this one before. Now Thompson going to try one. Season play. Six to shoot. Thompson got it. He utilized this system to his benefit, and not only for himself, but helping his team win games. Markovic gets the roll inside. I think uh, the two of us are some of those <laughs> who believe that. How many? Okay. okay. Come on. Rebounds for the Wildcats. Yeah, that's a critical point. The last three minutes of the game, a great overhead pass right there to Markovic. Yeah, Michigan to have one more possession. They can get a good, get a good stop here. They have the chance to go into halftime, but they didn't. Great move by Raleigh. I think he was caught in there. Should I shoot? Should I not? When you do that, more than likely you're going to miss that shot. Points in the paint again for Northwestern. Inside again, getting to the basket. Well, that means you're not pounding the basketball. That means you're getting the ball out of your hands on time and on target, where people can score. You know how they tally, tally those votes. Sure, a nice move. <laughs> Crawford leaves that one short, but it's tipped in by Sherman. A duo that averages nearly 40 per game. Thompson on the backdoor pass from Sherman. Easy layup backdoor for Wildcats. Back to live action. Sims misses from point blank range. Murkovich has it for the Cats. Now here comes Thompson. Thompson cut off by Lucas Perry. Sherman open three in the corner, and he got it. John Sherna has 13, and the Wildcats lead it by 11 right now the NCAA tournament. Michigan definitely so. Crawford hits the three, but this is a huge game, particularly for Northwestern as they try to keep their at-large hopes alive. And of course, they still have nine games left to play. Shot clock at four now. Crawford got it. It's funny, when you win some games, Dave, how, how much more is easier to recruit those type of players to have an interest in this program? As Crawford gets the roll on the three-pointer, everything going Northwestern's way the last few minutes. The Wildcats lead it by 17. Northwestern trail by 17. Remember, in the first meeting in Ann Arbor, came back to win, but time is running out here for the Wolverines as they turn it over. Should mention Stu Douglas did come back in for Michigan, so that one encouraging sign. Murkovic, two more for Luka Murkovic, who now has a dozen. It's just unbelievable the job that he's been able to continue to do on a consistent basis. Crawford, the reverse, and he's fouled. How good is this freshman? But it's a learning process, and in that process, you're going to go through bumps and bruises, and that's what this Michigan team is. It's experiencing right now. Kaposi on the alley-oop. You talk about the athleticism, and you saw it right there. Coaching staff to continue to push to get better players, a better understanding of how to operate the offense. But again, I'm going to go back to this. Defensively is where they're starting to make their mark. Well, Bill Carmody told us today it was a must-win game for his team, and the Wildcats do get the win, and they get it comfortably as they knock off Michigan 67-52. to That'll do it from Welsh Ryan Arena in Evanston. Northwestern wins it by 15. For Jim Jackson, I'm Dave Revson. Now let's send it to our Big Ten Network studios, the GMC post-game report coming up here on the Big Ten Network. Good night from Evanston. Thank <laughs> you.